Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 6th of 2021, well, it is titled Firefly Milky Way over Russia. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of our Milky Way galaxy stretching up grandly across the sky here. And in the foreground, you can see a firefly that happened to join the image. Now it's just a single fire firefly and you can watch the path that it took. And remember that images like this are often taken over extended periods of time. You know that our eyes never pick up this much detail in the Milky Way or in the sky. So the camera lens is left open for a longer period of time to collect more light and allow fainter objects to be seen. So while that happened, the firefly flew through the image and every time it decided to glow, you can see how it brightened there as it starts towards the bottom left and then heads left at first and then turns around and heads back to the right uh, before it disappears into the trees there. So we get to see our firefly there. And if you don't see it well, the image is annotated for you and we can show there is our firefly loaded located down there. Now up in the sky, as I mentioned, we see our Milky Way. And that is our spiral galaxy as we see it from within. And we see the star clouds, the brighter areas, and the dark dust clouds blotting out material from behind it. Just up above the Milky Way, we see the trail of a satellite that also happened to come through the image while this was being taken. Many satellites in orbit, so we tend to see a lot of satellite trails will come up and they are getting more and more prevalent and in some ways causing more trouble for astronomers as there are more satellites out there to have to watch out for. Now, we also see a a couple of other objects and what are we looking at here well we see the uh, the star Altair one of the brighter stars in the summer sky and in fact part of what we call the summer triangle it is the southernmost star in the summer triangle which also includes Vega and Deneb now the bright object we see down just above the horizon is actually the planet Saturn so you note that planet Saturn is about is a similar brightness, similar size. Now the size is just telling us how bright they are. When we take pictures of stars, we don't get to see any sizes because they are far too far away. So either one of these, we're just seeing points of light. And the fact that they look like they are bigger than other stars is simply because they are brighter and vastly overexposed in parts. So we see Saturn there as well. And we see a the air glow air glow is a green color and is similar to the Aurora, uh, except that it is caused by energy energetic light from the sun that excites molecules within the atmosphere. So while the Aurora are caused by charged particles, this is caused by light from the sun. And in fact, higher intensity light that excites the molecules in the atmosphere and gives off this distinct glow. Now that means that the air glow can actually be seen from any location and is not just concentrated at more northerly or southerly latitudes like the Aurora. So that was our picture of the day for September 6th of 2021. It was titled Firefly Milky Way over Russia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be colliding galaxies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.